welcome back to Fun with Noah and Joycey, Joycey who is the eat. cookie monster right now. She got um, <laughs> two cookies. Yeah. All right. So today, <laughs> thanks. On today's video, we will be doing part two of the dinosaur adventure. Today, we will be talking about the carnivores. Carnivore? Did I say carnivores again? Yes! We okay. talked about this at the last video! Alright, carnivores and your swimming boys. Boys. And, and omnivores. And, uh, is the force? Because it's. Whatever it's I okay. just said. They're, they're classified as carnivores. So. She playing with the mask. If you hear any roaring, go. Okay. So we're going to be starting with Cryo Cryolophosaurus. <laughs> Which, when I go up this, it has the wrong sound. They can't eat her. They can't see him. This, this little guy, well, not that little, um, had the wrong sound when I got him. Listen. This is the Dominus Rex sound, which was in the last video. If I can open this jaw, come on. They make it so hard. Right there. That's the Indominus Rex. Yes. Door. All right. So, so I saw him for a glimpse. This guy's from the Jurassic period. He was about 20 feet long, uh, five feet tall, and he weighed. About six million tons. <laughs> he weighed about eleven 1 hundred pounds, so just over a ton. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, am I next? Am I next? You're Who's not that? next. Where'd he go? Not him. Come back here. We're not done with you. Oh, I thought it was my time to shine. No, still my turn. Okay. So they're not completely sure, but they may have had feathers. Now, it's also been called the Elvisaurus. If anybody knows who Elvis is, I mean, who doesn't? Elvis is fancy hair. As you can see, this guy. This guy's got a nice fancy crest. His name means. That is not what his name means. His name means. Frozen. All right, his name means frozen crested lizard. All right, so yeah. goodbye, Alberto Soros. Yeah. You're not Alberto. Hello. Hello, I'm a Canadian dinosaur. So this is our Canadian dinosaur. The uh, Fossil for this guy was found in Alberta, Canada. That's what that's, that's the thing. That's where he got his name from. The past one hurt me so bad. Look. Yes, he has the cool damage. He's part of the damage set. I think no. No, no choice. So, not that one. He can press the side and all of his not too hard. insides show. The Abertosaurus was from the Mesozoic era, or period, sorry. Uh, he was about 30 feet long, 11 feet tall, and he weighed about 3 tons. So he was a big, a big dino. He could run as fast as a grizzly bear, and in case you didn't know, grizzly bears are very fast. I thought that was super slow. No, they are very fast. Next on our list is... Me? Yes, you. Dad, Dad. And you. There's one more over there somewhere. Well, my little brother. We've got three different Carnotaurus figures. Carnotaurus is... Yeah. So we got the Jurassic World. Jurassic World Camp Contagious and a mini Jurassic World, which likes flying. So the big guy here, he makes noises. 
His mouth should be closed, and then when you press the button, it makes more sense, because watch. Oh, yeah. He closes his mouth when he roars. Wow. But leaves it open all the rest of the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, moving on. We have this one. And there's a button on his head uh, right here. That puts him to sleep. Yeah, for a second. Okay. Which do I just to took? And, and that is actually one of Noah's newer dinosaurs that he has gotten. And, um, this useless one. Useless? Yeah. I'm not useless. You can, you, can, you can use it for craft. Yeah. Now this guy. The little ones we use to feed the big ones. It's not useless. Carnotaurus came from the late Cretaceous period. He was about 20, sorry, 30 feet long, 10 feet tall. I'm going to poke no in the face. Oh. <laughs> I, just I was trying just, to poke your cheek. I just got dirt out of that eye. Ah. So, you weighed about two tons. <laughs> They're not completely sure, but they believe his horns could have been used for battle. And like the last video, the state you won't walk. Yeah. And his name means flesh eating bull. As you can see from his yum, horns, yum. he looks kind of like a bull. Yum, yum. And he can run as fast as a cougar. Cougars are also very fast. Like grizzlies. I'm not sure, but I think cougars are faster than grizzlies. I don't know. Both are the same. I'm guessing they're the same. I don't know. Anyway. And now this guy, there's only one fossil found for him. Yep, only one. It was found in Argentina. Next on our list, we've got Dilophosaurus. Uh, Dilophosaurus, come to the floor, please. Dilophosaurus. Um, hello. Get out of here. Drugs. I'm going to hide the one you talk about. Yeah, kids, what did Dad tell you about going off without me? Oh, what video? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not working for you. There he goes. All right. So many of you guys will notice or will recognize this guy from Jurassic Park. I mean, any of you, my generation, as the spitting dinosaur in the scene with Dan Snowdrew. That guy. Uh, <laughs> he got eaten. He did get eaten. But, Sadly. but anyways, this guy, there's actually no scientific proof that he actually spat po poison. So yeah. that was all made up in the movie. Just FYI. Probably. His name means double-crested lizard. He was from the Jurassic period. Ow. The carnotaurus just attacked. The carnotaurus attacked me. I'll spit on him. And me. All right. Yes. On this time, go. He was he was actually a lot bigger than what they what they shown him as. Yeah, he was he was actually twenty feet long and weighed about three thousand pounds. He was actually bigger than a dinosaur you see later in this video. So he was yeah, he was a lot bigger than what they showed. They showed him as like the size of a big Ma dog, but maybe reality, it was a baby. Maybe you know, it was a baby. No, just go Dominion. Um, he was pretty. He's bigger than Claire. He was probably a baby. I don't know. Most likely. It, they also would uh, could have been warm blooded. Most likely. Well, most dinosaurs were cold blooded. Yeah, but look, look, look at those colors. They don't know. Christmassy. That's the other thing. They don't know what color dinosaurs. Are. Yeah, they're probably random. They have no idea what the color is. Random generated. Loading up Minecraft world. Alright. So let's move on to the Majongasaurus. The noise maker. Can't activate them for you. I yeah, this this toy, as soon as you touch him. Okay. Maybe not as soon as you touch him. He's he's very noisy. I mean if I go and I'm moving toys around in Noah's room, uh 
He's the one that sets off first. Just watch. See? It just a little touch. A little touch up and yeah. So he was from the Cretaceous period. He was about 20 feet long and weighed about a ton. Whoa. So he was big, but he wasn't one of the biggest. Love with this guy. Watch this. This guy was a little bigger. Uh, what? Uh, look at these dwarfy. Hi. You know why I got a big boy? Yeah. yeah. These guys actually were about the same size. What? <clears throat> what? Dad. So. Dad. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I wasn't sure if that was blue or if that was the Indominus Rex. It's blue. Okay, that's blue. Anywho. Dad, blue. Cool facts about him. He could have been a cannibal. What? Yep. And he was one of the last dinosaurs alive. He's Nobody a dinosaur. Time. Most likely. And his name means Majunghai Lizard. I'm gonna bring out Circo. Hey guys, that was from last video, sort of. Circo Suchus. Was part of the Dominus Rex. If you watched that video. Yes, his uh, part of his DNA was put into the Indominus Rex. Check out our first video to see that. Now this guy was part of the Cretaceous period. He, he was about 40 feet long, weighed about 15 tons. 15! So this guy was actually bigger than, let's say, he was actually bigger than the Albertosaurus. He could be like this. Wait, pretend he's drinking water. He's drinking water. Yeah. If, if, I think they live in the same area. Um, Cretaceous. Oh, you would need the mesh. Mesh. I, I, I hit him. I forgot. This guy. Instead of drinking water like a normal day. Oh, no. Yes, you possibly could have eaten these guys. As you can, as you can see, he looks like a crocodile, which he is, and that's where he got his name from, flesh crocodile. Uh, hmm. Are you done? I'm eating my food. Anyways, now his eyes, his okay. eyes moved up and down, not side to side. Up and down, not side to side. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. That was a moment of quiet for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Anywho, Open it. Turbo. Open it. Where'd he go? Up and up and vanished. My crust vanished mode. He vanished. Hey guys. Nom, 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 nom. Hey guys. Oh. Wait. There that, he is. Is that Sarko? I want to fight him. So this guy was actually from the late Cretaceous, so he probably wasn't around. He could have been around when the uh, Sarko was around. Maybe not the Dilopho. Die he was he was also yeah. a really big guy. Yeah. He was about forty feet long yeah. and weighed about five five yeah. tons. Yeah. Now this, his name means terrifying dinosaur. Uh, and you could just look at the toy. It looks terrifying. Yeah. Now they don't have the most scientific proof, but they believe that he hunted in packs. The opposite of a T-Rex. Yes, and he, he actually had smaller arms than the T-Rex. Smaller than a carno? I don't know. Smaller than a T-Rex. We're gonna move on to the Herasaurus. I remember this guy. Um, they don't want to see that. The Hera. 
Here are swords. No one wants to see this guy. Hey, now, that's my kid. Give a baby. Now, they made him small in toy version, but in reality, he was about 20 feet long. Go! this one. I'm showing this one. Alright. Now, the toy, what does the toy do? Blood. Flesh. You hit his side and he's a injured. He's injured. We gotta get him to the hospital. He's part of the uh, Triassic period. So he was one of the earliest dinosaurs there were. So he was about 20 feet long three feet tall, and weighed about 700 pounds. All right. He could run as fast as an elephant. He may have had feathers. I think it's no. no. He would be like this. Now, his name came from the person who found him, who was Herrera. So his name means Herrera's lizard. <laughs> Okay, let's bring it on. How well? You're not next. No. Yes, I am. My fact is they that don't, I... they don't want to see your butt. Gem's Je interesting fact. She has a bonus too. She yes, she is um. Hoti toad. For some reason, I can't think of the name, but I know it starts with Polly. I'll uh, link it in the video. But and she actually has mm, multiple extra toes. Up. On each one of her paws, she has at least one extra. Or two. Toe. Maybe two. There's, uh, I believe, two of her paws, she has two extra toes. Two, two. Or two on her, two of her paws, she has two extra. It's really cool. Yes. My cat's really cool. She is quite. Quite a kitty. She's quite a kitty. She's quite wet, rare. Rare, rare. Rare, rare, rare. Rare, rare, rare. Rare, rare, rare. Anyways, we're on to Mono... Monolophosaurus. Which is almost the same as this guy, but see. Hey! Bye bye! Get he was some... actually bigger. Yeah, can I have some, uh, burger? Okay. It would yeah. be him eating. He too bigger. bad. <laughs> too bad. It was, it's a baby. It's a baby. Oh, that's just... Hey, All right. his life... So this guy was actually from the Jurassic period. It's life finds a way. Mm. He was about 24 yeah. feet long, 6 feet high, and weighed about three, sorry, 1,300 pounds. Toys. And as you've seen, this is another one of the damaged toys where he can take damage. Uh, oh, big. Guys, the dino's gotta come get you. Now his name means single crested lizard. He was only ever found in China. Weird. So that's probably the area where he lived. lived. Okay. Next, we've got the pro. You're not supposed to eat the dinosaurs. No. No. Did you just throw him at me? Yeah. Next, we've got the pro Ceratosaurus. Okay. Another dino rival toy who can take damage. Now, this guy was from the Jurassic period. About 13 feet long, about four and a half feet tall, so I'm just as tall as you. This guy was actually faster than a Velociraptor. Which you see later on. So we're going to move on to somebody bigger. Bigger and better? Sucho Minus. Yeah, I got drawn on by Joyce. What? Oh, his snap in his eye. Okay. Someone wash my face. So what does this toy do? Well, he wiggles his tail. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, and he yeah, bounces his head. And bites. This one's almost baby. So he's like a dancing one. 
Wiggle, 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 dum, dum, dum. <laughs> wiggle, 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 dum, dum, dum. <laughs> All right. Dance till you're dead, 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 dead. <laughs> He was from the mid Cretaceous period. He was about 36 feet long, 12 feet high. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. And he weighed about five tons. Yeah. So he was like small. No. He was about the same size as like all the other big carnivores. Now it's time for me. It's not time for you. Go back down. Go. <laughs> oh jeez, my neck. His name means crocodile mimic. You can tell by looking at him, he was related to the Spinosaurus, which everybody knows from which movie? Jurassic Park 3. And we will bring him out after. Uh, <laughs> now, they also think he was slow moving. Maybe. He's known as a Spinosaurid. So he's related to the Spinosaurus. Now, he's also related to our next dino, the... Irritator. Which he does irritate. So he just wiggles his head around. And he does irritate me. Aha. No pun intended. <laughs> so this guy was from the early Cretaceous period. He was about 26 feet long. He weighed about a ton. She's running away from the dinos, as you can see. Okay. He was the smallest of all the Spinosaurus. These guys also, they lived in water and on land. They're semi. They're like foodies. Yes, they'll swim in the water to hunt or they'll hunt on land. Mostly water, so it's water. But that's probably why this guy was slow moving. Because... Did she say uppercut? Get a pillow. <laughs> Make sure you don't hit the table. The Spinosaurus that everybody knows about. Which is my favorite. Is, the okay. Okay. is the Spinosaurus. No, it was the this guy in the mo movie Jurassic Park 3 or yeah 3 yeah and you will also see him in that Jurassic World Dominion no is he not in Camp Contagious that's where he's from yes that's where this toy is actually from Camp Contagious yeah his, his tongue moves his tongue moves <laughs> It's really weird. It feels weird too. Yeah, it's like bendy. Yeah. It's like bendy rubber. <laughs> Before we continue, I would just like to say that we are not sponsored by anything that we've mentioned. We're not sponsored by the movies, by the toys, nothing. So. But we wish. <laughs> Back to Spinosaurus. He is from the Cretaceous period. He was about. 46 to 59 feet long, so he was very big. Big boy. He was about 16 to 19 feet tall and weighed. <laughs> now he weighed about 13 to 22 pounds. pounds. That's, um, that's a tons. lot of Joyce's. <laughs> now, that's a lot of me's and you's and Joyce's. His name means spiny lizard, as you can tell. Now, the spine on his back. They've actually measured out that this spine Go on its mama. own was about five feet tall. That's as tall as me. That's taller than you. Five feet, that's pretty much my height. Mm -hmm. If you look at his front claws here, you will see they were very long 
could fingers. easily rip apart this guy. So he had the ability to grab, to grab and that's usually, it's that's what they think he did to catch his fish. But really, he did this. Skinned, and then when he stuck the fish, he would get really mouth and just gnaw so the fish dies. Again, this is just all scientific theories. <coughs> Most of you growing up always thought the T-Rex was the biggest. He was the king of all the dinosaurs. But technically, the Spinosaurus was bigger so, than the T-Rex. The, th the thing is, the Spino would have definitely won to the T-Rex. It wouldn't make sense. The T-Rex would be like... Oh, in Jurassic Park 3. Yeah, it was... Yeah. They had a that's battle. Why, that's why the Spino went one and beyond. Because they grabbed its neck and just... Ah. Yeah, grabbed it. Yeah, I mean, if you look... It gave it a massage. If you look at a, a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex, the Spinosaurus is bigger. Plus, it's got nice arm reach. Yes, it would definitely beat the T-Rex.